extinguisher, pneumatic tools, food control switch, cylinder, bayonet, gas source line. First connect the pump with gas source line. Put fire extinguisher into the two bayonet. Use foot step on the foot control switch. Then dismount fire extinguisher cobra readily. Let's slip the foot control switch. Fire extinguisher testing pressure stand. Opening up the back, taking out test pump and fitting as follows. Control panel. Pressure meter of linked electricity, instruction book, holes, and a set of statistics fitting. High pressure holes, relief valve, hydraulic test stand, pressure meter, clipping tie-in, testing pressure tie-in, O-type wind-type circle, Manual tool, not fitting using spot demo. First, fix relief valve of test pump. Add 10 times 1.5 O type circle and tighten it. Then fix pressure meter of linked electricity. Add 10 times 1.5 O type circle and tighten it. Fix one aspect of high pressure holes in the outlet. Add 10 times 1.5 O type circle and tighten it. Another aspect to fix in testing pressure stand. Add 10 times 1.5 O type circle and tighten it. Fixin test stand tie in. Add 10 times 1.5 O type circle and tie it. Fix test stand pressure meter in turn. Add 10 times 1.5 O type circle and tie it. Fix clip in tie in in turn. Add aluminous pad and tight. Then put up hydraulic test. Firstly, see straight how much is the test pressure of fire extinguisher. Top up fire extinguisher with water. Use a manual tool clamp fire extinguisher. Fix. Testing pressure tie-in of fire extinguisher. Add 10 times 1.5 O type circle and tie it.
fix clip and tie in. Add a luminous pad and tight. Step foot control board. Fix the fire extinguisher or fix the clip and tie in in the test pressure stand. Open control switch. Close control switch of the other tie in. Turn on electric hydraulic test pump. Open relief valve. Set test pressure must accord with hydraulic test pressure of fire extinguisher. Close relief valve. Open drain tab of test stand to exhaust. Close relief valve when set eyes on bent water. Repeat thrice of exhaust press. Close drain tap and start fire extinguisher hydraulic test. Test the pump automatic stop when pressure reaches the setting pressure. Check fire extinguisher canister is a peak or not. Accomplish fire extinguisher hydraulic test. Take out canister after accomplishing test pressure. Discharge water. Use fire extinguisher drying or fire extinguisher dry box to dry in fire extinguisher. MYG fire extinguisher dry box. MYG fire extinguisher dry box is a kind of new product designed and developed by our company according to the needs of various firefighting equipment. The dry box can be used by many firefighting equipment manufacturers for drying the equipment that has been tested under water pressure. The dry box is equipped with automatic consistent temperature system, has features of safe and reliable, easy to operate, high efficiency, speedy increasing temperature, good heat preservation, and so on. Currently, it is the ideal drying equipment for firefighting manufacturers and repairing factory. Air outlet. Handle. Power indicator. Operation indicator. TED temperature control unit. Manual control button. Automatic control button. Motor thumb button. First, open up handle. Inverse the fire extinguisher into dry box. Adjust the temperature control unit to the temperature needed. When the temperature attained the needed, it will automatically stop hot up. Push the motor fan. There have vapor vent from the air outlet. Close the motor fan. Open the dry box. After waiting temperature is proper, take out fire extinguisher. Close the door of dry box. MDH2 fire extinguisher drying. MDH2 drying is researched and produced by our company on the basis of 
electrothermal blowing and drying principle. It is used for drying the fire extinguisher container and the tank inner blader. It is a new product having eight working place. This product has quick drying speed, no dust, no pollution, easy to operate, safety and reliability, etc. features. Jet tube. Adjusting pallet. Adjusting pad. Timer. Power switch. Indicator light. Temperature controlled regulator. Fixed jet tube. Underlay adjusting pad. Set adjusting pallet. Regulate the adjusting pad and adjusting pallet to make the bottom of the drying container to have a space more than 20 millimeters. Place fire extinguisher upside down on the jet tube. Turn on the power switch. Regulate the drying temperature. Turn on timer to start hot up. Calefaction will automatic stop when the temperature reaches the set point. Here the indicator light of timer returns zero go out. Complete drying procedure. Take out fire extinguisher then filling powder. Turn off the power switch. GFM82 dry powder filling machine. National patent. This model is high technological automatic dry powder filling machine. It processes the following function. Automatic imbibe the powder from the storage and fill into the extinguisher. Then automatic will stop when finish filling and auto cleaning when finish filling. Automatic washer. Filling cap washer. End cap for filling. Powder discharge outlet. Electronic scale. Weight display screen. Pressure gauge. Admitting pipe. Powder suction pipe. For 35 kilogram fire extinguisher filling. Powder suction pipe for 1 to 8 kilogram fire extinguisher filling. Elevating hand wheel. Filter compact. Powder deposited cylinder. Butterfly valve. Power switch with leakage protector. Powder absorbing inlet for 35 kilogram fire extinguisher filling. Powder absorbing inlet for 1 to 8 kilogram fire extinguisher filling. Main air pipe. Suction pipe. Manual sniffed valve. Elevating screw. This model processes both manual and automatic filling function. Manual filling procedure. Turn the filling button to filling state. Fix the powder discharge outlet. Here we need to put a hermetic washer inside and then fasten it. Fix the end cap for filling. Fix the suction pipe on the side of the machine. Fix the powder suction pipe, 1 to 8 kg, in the middle. Fix the admitting pipe on the side of the machine. Connect the electronic scale. Connect the sensor cable of the electronic scale with the machine.
Connect the ground wire full scale. Connect the powder source pipe with a 1 to 8 kilogram powder suction inlet. Fix the residual powder cylinder. Put one hermetic washer onto the powder discharge outlet. Put the fire extinguisher at the powder discharge outlet. Operate the elevating hand wheel. Set down the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize to the fire extinguisher. Open the butterfly valve. Turn on the electronic scale. Waiting for the electronic scale shows zero. Put the fire extinguisher onto the electronic scale. Fix the end cap for filling onto the fire extinguisher and pressurize. Waiting until the electronic scale shows zero and press shelling button. Turn on the power switch and run the machine. Waiting until the vacuum pump running on the trails. Set up the electronic scale. Press the start of filling button. The display shows the numbers of increasing. When the filling weight reaches the number set up, the filling will stop automatically. Move the end cap for filling and take the fire extinguisher down. Filling next fire extinguisher. Automatically filling procedure. Turn the filling button to auto filling state. The other operation same as the manual filling. Automatically stop when finish filling one fire extinguisher. And there are 6 seconds waiting for changing new fire extinguisher. Procedure for filling 35 kg and another large cubic fire extinguisher. Connect the powder source pipe with the 35 kg powder suction inlet. Take out the powder suction pipe, 1 to 8 kg. Change 35 kg powder suction pipe and pressurize. Tighten the fastener and pressurize. Then start filling. Under the working order, the machine will auto clean the filter when finish filling one fire extinguisher. The filter has to be cleaned by labor every day when work finished. Close the air suction valve. Turn the bottom switch to cleaning state. Press the stop button. Turn off the power. Close the display screen. Model GFM161 steel stainless dry powder filling machine. Model GFM161 dry powder filling machine adopts the technique of vacuum transmit. It possesses advantages such as small bulk, portable, easy to operate, no pollution, thereby lighten the work intensity, improve work environment. It is specially fit for the filling, production, and maintenance of the fire extinguisher. And it is also perfect equipment in other powder filling field. It is reliable products for powder filling industry. Big powder suction pipe. Small powder suction pipe. Morgue. Air suction pipe. Big powder filling pipe. 
Small powder filling pipe. End cap for filling. Powder discharge outlet. Filling cap washer. Hermetic washer. Butterfly valve washer. Electronic scale. Filter compact. Powder deposited cylinder. Main air pipe. Elevating hand wheel. Start switch. Elevating screw. Manual clean direction valve. Air source pipe. Blower. This model processes two filling method. It can suck the powder fast into the powder deposited cylinder and fill into the fire extinguisher body. It can also suck and fill at the same time. The first method. Subtraction filling. The filling weight equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed to fill into fire extinguisher body. Fix the powder discharge outlet. Here we need to put a hermetic washer inside and then fasten it. Connect the big powder suction pipe with a suction pipe. Then connect the suction pipe with a filter. Fix the fire extinguisher. Remember the filling weight needed of the fire extinguisher. Put one hermetic washer onto the powder discharge outlet. Put the fire extinguisher at the powder discharge outlet. Operate the elevating hand wheel. Sit down the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize to the fire extinguisher. Open the butterfly valve. Turn on the electronic scale. Waiting for the electronic scale shows zero. Put the powder source pail. Weigh the total weight of the powder source. The filling weight equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed to fill into fire extinguisher body. Turn the power switch. Turn on the blower. Put the powder suction pipe into the powder source and start filling. Notice. Don't put the powder suction pipe too deep or it may block the pipe. When the electronic scale shows the number equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed, take out the powder suction pipe from the source and put it to the pipe seat. Push the direction valve for several times to clean the powder remained in the powder deposited cylinder. Change to another fire extinguisher and go on filling. The second filling method, fix the nog for pipes. Connect the air suction pipe, the end with suction connector. With the powder suction inlet on the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Connect one side of powder suction soft pipe with the powder suction pipe and pressurize it. Connect another side onto the suction inlet in the middle of the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Put the empty fire extinguisher on the electronic scale and cover the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Turn on the electronic scale, then show number stably, press shelling button. Fix the residual powder cylinder. Put the fire extinguisher at the powder discharge outlet. Operate the elevating hand wheel. Sit down the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize to the fire extinguisher. Open the butterfly valve. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the blower. 
to the powder suction pipe into the powder source and start filling. Notice, don't put the powder suction pipe too deep or it may block the pipe. When the electronic scale shows the number equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed. Take out the powder suction pipe from the source and put it into the pipe seat. The filling will stop. Push the direction valve for several times to clean the powder remained in the powder deposited cylinder. Change to another fire extinguisher and go on filling. The filter has to be cleaned by labor every day when work finished. Turn out the power. Put down the butterfly valve. Operate the elevating hand wheel. Take down the residual powder cylinder. Take down the end cap for filling. Take down the fire extinguisher. Turn off the electronic scale. Model GFM161 Normal Dry Powder Filling Machine. The structure and filling method of Model GFM161 Normal Dry Powder Filling Machine are absolutely the same as Model GFM161 Steel Stainless Dry Powder Filling Machine. The only difference is one of them uses steel stainless powder deposited cylinder. Another uses normal ferric powder deposited cylinder. Model GFM161A dry powder filling machine. Model GFM161A dry powder filling machine is a new product designed and manufactured by our engineer according to the advantage of similar national and foreign powder filling machine. The lever elevating gear system makes the elevating process more prompt, flexible and stable. This model processes characteristics such as small bulk, portable, easy to operate, no pollution and feeling far going, thereby lighten the work intensity, improve work environment. It can fill all kind of fire extinguisher body and it is also fit for the feeling of all kind of powder products. It is reliable products for powder filling industry. Big ferrule, big washer, end cap for filling, mug, small powder suction pipe, hermetic washer, fastener, spare glass, connector, Long connector, dust proof cover, air suction, alterable connector, small hermetic washer, filling cap washer, big tundish, 1.2 meter mire pipe, 1.5 meter mire pipe, diameter 40 millimeters mire pipe, big powder suction pipe, Electronic scale, powder deposited cylinder valve, elevating handle, filter complex, powder deposited cylinder, visible window, powder discharge outlet, air admitting inlet, main air suction pipe, electronic control panel, adjust the pin, elevating the whole machine frame. Powder suction pipe seat, direction valve pedal, adjustable screw to move the powder deposited cylinder, machine frame, blower, cleaning direction valve. This model processes two filling method. It can suck the powder fast into the powder deposited cylinder and fill into the fire extinguisher body. It can also suck the dry powder directly into the fire extinguisher body through the end cap for filling and recycle the dry powder from the old fire extinguisher directly. The first method, 
subtraction filling. The filling weight equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed to fill into fire extinguisher body. Fix the big powder suction pipe onto the powder suction inlet and pressurize. Put the powder source pail on the electronic scale. Turn on the electronic scale. Weight the total weight of the powder source. The filling weight equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed to fill into fire extinguisher body. Put the fire extinguisher at the powder discharge outlet. Operate the elevating handle. Sit down the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize to the fire extinguisher. Open the powder deposited cylinder valve. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the blower. Put the powder suction pipe into the power source and start filling. Notice, don't put the powder suction pipe too deep or it may block the pipe. When the electronic scale shows the number equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed, take out the powder suction pipe from the source and put it to the pipe seat. The filling will stop. Push the direction valve pedal for several times to clean the powder remained in the powder deposited cylinder. Close the powder deposited cylinder valve. Operate the elevating handle. Take down the fire extinguisher. Change to another fire extinguisher and go on filling. The second method, take off the big powder suction pipe. Fix the nog for pipes. Fix one side of the 1.2 meter mile pipe with the alterable connector and connect with the powder suction inlet on the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize it. Connect another side of air suction pipe with the suction inlet on the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Connect one side of powder suction soft pipe with the powder suction pipe and pressurize it. Connect another side onto the suction inlet in the middle of the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Put the amplifier extinguisher on the electronic scale and cover the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Turn on the electronic scale. When show number stably, press shelling button. Fix the residual powder cylinder. Put the fire extinguisher at the powder discharge outlet. Operate the elevating handle. Sit down the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize to the fire extinguisher. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the blower. Put the powder suction pipe into the powder source and start filling. Notice, don't put the powder suction pipe too deep or it may block the pipe. When the electronic scale shows the number equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed, take out the powder suction pipe from the source and put it to the pipe seat. The filling will stop. Push the direction valve pedal for several times to clean the powder remained in the powder deposited cylinder. Close the powder deposited cylinder valve. Operate the elevating handle. Take down the fire extinguisher. Change to another fire extinguisher and go on filling. Model GFM-161B dry powder filling machine. Model GFM-161B dry powder filling machine is a new product designed and manufactured by our engineer. According to the advantage of similar national and foreign powder filling machine, it processes the function of up and down the powder deposited cylinder through electric when step on the up and down pedal. It processes characteristics such as small bulk, portable, easy to operate, no pollution, and etc. Thereby, lighten the work intensity, improve work environment. It can fill all kind of fire extinguisher body, and it is also fit for the filling of all kind of powder products. It is reliable products for powder filling industry. Big ferrule, big washer. 
end cap for filling. Log. Small powder suction pipe. Pneumatic washer. Fastener. Spare glass. Connector. Long connector. Dustproof cover. Air suction alterable connector. Small hermetic washer. Filling cap washer. Big tundish. 1.2 meter mire pipe. 1.5 meter mire pipe. Diameter 40 millimeters mire pipe. Big powder suction pipe. Powder deposited cylinder valve. Powder deposited cylinder. Powder deposited cylinder. Visible window. Powder discharge outlet. Main air suction pipe. Air admitting inlet. Bounce switch. Elevating gear. Machine frame. Electric control panel. Powder suction pipe seat. Clean direction valve switch pedal. Up down pedal. This machine adopts the technical vacuum transmit. It can suck the powder fast into the powder deposited cylinder and fill into the fire extinguisher body. It can also suck the dry powder directly into the fire extinguisher body through the end cap for filling and recycle the dry powder from the old fire extinguisher directly. The first method, subtraction filling. The filling weight equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed to fill into fire extinguisher body. Fix the big powder suction pipe onto the powder suction inlet and pressurize. Put the powder source pail on the electronic scale. Turn on the electronic scale. Weigh the total weight of the powder source. The filling weight equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed to fill into fire extinguisher body. Put the fire extinguisher at the powder discharge outlet. Operate the falling down pedal. Sit down the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize to the fire extinguisher. Open the powder deposited cylinder valve. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the blower. Put the power suction pipe into the powder source and start filling. Notice, don't put the powder suction pipe too deep or it may block the pipe. When the electronic scale shows the number equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed, take out the powder suction pipe from the source and put it to the pipe seat. The filling will stop. Push the direction valve pedal for several times to clean the powder remained in the powder deposited cylinder. Close the powder deposited cylinder valve. Operate the raising up pedal. Take down the fire extinguisher. Change to another fire extinguisher and go on filling. This model can also operate the powder deposited cylinder up down manual. The second method. Take off the big powder suction pipe. Fix the nog for pipes. Fix one side of the 1.2 meter mire pipe with the alterable connector and connect with the powder suction inlet on the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize it. Connect another side of air suction pipe with the suction inlet on the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Connect one side of powder suction soft pipe with the powder suction pipe and pressurize it. Connect another side onto the suction inlet in the middle of the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Put the amplifier extinguisher on the electronic scale and cover the end cap for filling and pressurize it. Turn on the electronic scale. When show number stably, press shelling button. Fix the residual powder cylinder. Put the fire extinguisher at the powder discharge outlet.
operate the falling down pedal. Sit down the powder deposited cylinder and pressurize to the fire extinguisher. Open the powder deposited cylinder valve. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the blower. Put the powder suction pipe into the power source and start filling. Notice, don't put the powder suction pipe too deep or it may block the pipe. When the electronic scale shows the number equal to the total weight of powder source minus the filling weight needed, push the direction valve pedal for several times to clean the powder remained in the powder deposited cylinder. Close the powder deposited cylinder valve. Operate the raising up pedal. Take down the fire extinguisher. Change to another fire extinguisher and go on filling. XBY fire extinguisher check device. XBY Calibreth is developed for calibration of internal pressure gauges of pressurized cylinder fire extinguishers used by the numerous manufacturers and repair works. As a result, the pressure in the cylinder will be indicated on the gauge accurately, thereby making the detection of fire extinguisher more visual. The calibrator is made up of two parts, inflation system and deflation system. It is characterized by safety, reliability, simple operation, high efficiency, and great accuracy. It is an indispensable calibration device of fire extinguisher pressure gauges to manufacturers and repair works of fire control appliances. Valve Air intake Fire extinguisher test reducer union Wind tight pad Interface of the instrument to be calibrated Gas source meters Fix voltmeter Twist voltmeter with wind tight tape Then fix in reducer union Fix reducer union of voltmeter in interface of the instrument to be calibrated. Add wind height pad in the one aspect of air intake, then fix in gas source matters. Tight. Another aspect to connect with relief valve of gas source bottle. Open power switch. Voltmeter indicate natural. Open gas source box switch. Adjust the relief valve. Make air intake meter reaches tested pressure numerical value which is enacted. Push calibration button. When the instrument reaches tested pressure numerical value which is enacted, let slip calibration button. Checking the instrument to be tested with the blob, unit and air intake meter is consistent or not. If it is consistent, the test with prop unit is qualified. Push the discharge button. The finger of prop unit returns zero. It shows qualified if returns zero. Close switch of gas source bottle. Continuously alternate push calibration button and discharge button. When the figures of prop unit and inlet back to zero, close electrical source, check work is end. MDG fire extinguisher, nitrogen filler. Model MDG nitrogen filler, referred to as filler, hereinafter. 
can be used for filling nitrogen to cylinders to be pressurized by nitrogen in the manufacturers of firefighting equipment. The filler is made up of the constant pressure control filling system and features safety and reliability, simple operation, high efficiency, and great precision of filling pressure. Therefore, it is an ideal filling device for manufacturers and maintenance works of firefighting equipment at present. Filling pipe. Intake tube. Gas filling tool. Thirty five kilogram gas filling gun head. One kilogram gas filling gun head. Heteragonate gun head. Gas filling tool has two one to eight kilogram gas filling gun head. Wind tight pad. Admission manometer. Set manometer. Filling port. Gas source switch. Inlet port. Add wind tight pad in one aspect of filling pipe, then connect with filling tool. Tight it. Add wind tight pad in another aspect, then connect with filling port. Tight it. Add wind tight pad in one aspect of intake tube, then connect with inlet port. Tight it. Add wind tight pad in another aspect, then connect with relief valve of nitrogen bottle. Tight it. Take a fire extinguisher to check its filling pressure. Add wind tight pad in gas filling gun head, then lock fire extinguisher. Open gas source switch. Adjust relief valve to make inlet pressure reaches intending filling pressure. Open electrical source switch. Electrical source shows natural. Operate set manometer to setting filling pressure. Open gas filling gun head switch. Push hand grip. A fire extinguisher. Automatic stop of filling when pressure reaches the setting pressure. Close gas filling gun head switch. Open gas filling tool. Take out 35 kilogram gun head of fire extinguisher. Discharge filling tool of filling pipe. Add wind tight pad. Connect with 35 kilogram gun head. Tight it. Change other gas filling gun head. The filling method is the same as other one. MDG XB fire extinguisher nitrogen filling and check device. XDG XB fire extinguisher nitrogen filling and check device is a compositive equipment developed and produced by Raoyang Hongyuan Corporation. Nitrogen filler and check device organic tie-in, not only using nitrogen filling but also checking manometer. Indeed, accomplish optimization grouping of one machine more functions. It features safety, 
reliability, simple operation, high efficiency, and normal check pressure. It is an ideal product for manufacturers of fire control appliances and repair works. Check out manometer. Set manometer. Nitrogen filling port. The operate method is basic same as MDG nitrogen filler and XVY check devices. There were not depiction one by one anymore. The material operation refers to other two types. MQS fire extinguisher airtight test box. MQS airtight test chamber is a new product designed and developed by our factory to meet the demand for fire control appliances. The equipment can be used in fire control products that require airtight tests in the numerous manufacturers and repair works of fire control appliances. The product is made up of thermostatic self-control system and features safety, reliability, simple operation, and high efficiency. It is an ideal test device for manufacturers of fire control appliances and repair works. Electric appliance box Temperature sensor Voltmeter Temperature controller End of heating indicator light Heating indicator light Power indicator light Beginning of heating button End of heating button Control switch Add proper water to the airtight chamber Put temperature sensor into the airtight chamber Open electrical source. Set heating temperature. Start heating. When the temperature rises to the set value, heating will stop automatically. Put the finished fire extinguisher into the water chamber. In a certain time, if there is no air blade rises from the level of water chamber, it shows the fire extinguisher airtight test eligible. After finishing airtight test, Close electrical source. Send out the water of airtight box. GTMLD carbon dioxide filler machine. The model GTMLD carbon dioxide fire extinguisher filling machine is a special purpose equipment for filling the carbon dioxide fire extinguish agent automatically into model MT2 to MT7 and etc. Portable type fire extinguisher. This machine adopts low temperature phase technique to convert the high pressure carbon dioxide fire extinguishing agent in the gas storing cylinder into low temperature, low pressure, poor liquid state carbon dioxide through the low temperature conversion device in the machine and fill it into the low temperature fire extinguisher. It does not need heating, pressing, and has safe, reliable, rapid filling, speed, accurate metering, high work efficiency, and etc. It is an ideal filling equipment for carbon dioxide fire extinguisher production and maintenance factories. The filling fixture with chart line. Gas source pressure meter, charge pressure indicator, electronic scale indicator, charge off button, charge on button, spot filling button, refrigerating off button, refrigerating on button, power source indication lamp, power source switch, emergency stop button, temperature controller, Machine box cover Extinguisher filling water tank Two gas inlet High and low pressure can complementary for each other when filling gas 
two gas inlet valve switch. In the extinguisher filling water tank is filled enough water which joined the antifreeze or pure antifreeze decided by the outside temperature. Open power source switch. Open electronic scale. After the numerical value of the electronic scale indicator and temperature controller indicator or are natural. Setting the temperature controller indicator, then set the refrigerating temperature. Normally set the temperature 10 degrees lower than indoor. Start the refrigerating on off button. Refrigerating begin. Screw down and airproof after the other end of charge pipeline, which have no valve adding one polyhedral pad set on the gas inlet. And then using fixture connected to the carbon dioxide source cylinder, adding one polyester. Screw down and airproof after the charge fixture adding one polyhedra pad set on the extinguisher to be filled. The extinguisher to be filled Put into the filling water tank, then leave the machine box cover. Refrigerating automatically stop when the temperature controller indicator showing achieve the set refrigerating temperature. Open one of the gas inlet switch when the air pressure in the cylinder source is lack. Open the other gas inlet valve switch. Open the charge on button begin to fill. If the gas source pressure meter and charge pressure indicator show is consistent, which express the pressure in the cylinder source is lack, here need to open the other gas inlet valve in order to supply the charge pressure. If the extinguisher have not filled fully, here can point the bit by bit filling button supply the charge. When the electronic scale indicator showing the extinguisher arrival to be filled wait, then close the charge switch. Plug into the insurance pin of the extinguisher. Take out filled extinguisher, then discharge the filling fixture. Keep on filling the next extinguisher. GTMB carbon dioxide filler. GTMB type filler for carbon dioxide 2 fire extinguisher is a special equipment for filling MT2 to MT7 portable extinguisher with carbon dioxide extinguishment automatically. It makes a comprehensive use of electronic, electric, and mechanical techniques and renders 
the whole filling process safe, reliable, simple in operation, accurate in filling quantity, and highly efficient. Filling console, electronic scale, gas inlet, electronic scale indicator, temperature controller, power source switch, off button, indication lamp for stop, indication lamp for power source, indication lamp for heating, heating button, indication lamp for heating suspension, heating suspension button, indicator lamp for filling, filling button, Indicator lamp for bit by bit filling, bit by bit button, pressure meter, refrigeration tank, mixer, heating tank, refrigerant tank, drainage valve, refrigerating tank inker. Refrigerating tank, drainage connector, refrigerant tank, gas inlet, one point switch one. Refrigerating tank, gas inlet, two point switch two. Refrigerating tank, gas outlet, switch. Charge connector, charge connector. Gas source pressure, metal. Air source orifies one communication. Gas source pressure meter two. Air source orifies two communication. Indication lamp for refrigeration. Indication lamp for power source. Temperature meter. Power source switch. Exhaust pipe. Charge fixture. Air source pipe. Charge fixture. Air source pipe. Temperature sensor. Pressure sensor line. Connect to electronic scale. Heating water tank power source line. Take out the temperature sensor put into heating water tank. Notice the line do not have bad ply. Heating water tank power source line set on the connector liner of a heating tank. Then add the shield. Connect the pressure sensor line with electronic scale. Put the carbon dioxide gas source cylinder into the heating water tank. Filled with enough water in the heating tank. Open power source of the filling console. Operate the temperature controller set the heating temperature. Point heating on button begin to heat. When the temperature arrival to set temperature, refrigeration automatic stop. Filled with enough water in the refrigeration tank. Open the refrigeration tank power source switch. After three minutes, refrigeration automatic start. If needs the manual start, operate the temperature controller full button manual start refrigeration. When the temperature arrival to set temperature, refrigeration automatic stop. In turn, set the air source pipe. Charge fixture on the gas inlet of the refrigeration tank, then screw down and airproof after adding the wind tight pad.
In turn, set the other end of the charge pipe on the gas inlet of the refrigeration tank, then screw it down and airproof after adding the wind tight pad. Connect the other end of charge pipe to the charge connector of refrigeration tank, then screw down and airproof after adding the wind tight pad. Screw down and airproof after the other end connect on the gas inlet of filling console. Open the air source off risk. 1. Open the exhaust valve of refrigeration tank. Set the charge fixture on the extinguisher. Need to add one wind tight pad, then screw down. Plug into insurance pin of the safety valve and extinguisher respectively. Place the extinguisher on the electronic scale which had set the fixture. Open filling switch. Begin to fill. If the gas source pressure meter and charge pressure indicator show it's consistent, which express the pressure in the cylinder source is lack. Here need to open the other gas inlet valve is used to supply the charge pressure. If the extinguisher have not filled fully, here can point the bit by bit filling button supplying the charge. When the electronic skill indicator showing the extinguisher arrival to be filled, wait, then close the charge switch. Take out the safety valve and insurance pin of the extinguisher respectively. Discharge the filled extinguisher. Plug into the insurance pin of the extinguisher. Keep on fill the next extinguisher. DGTM C pumping carbon dioxide filling. DGTM C carbon dioxide filler is a new product developed by our scientific researcher after absorbing the advantages and excellency of carbon dioxide filler at home and abroad. Considering the characteristic carbon dioxide inside canister is a mixture of gas and liquid. It is quickly and efficient in filling because it is the liquid transforming in the actuation between the pipe and the container. It features compact structure, running steady, saving energy, filling nicely and with a broad usage. So it is an ideal equipment in the manufacture and the maintenance of carbon dioxide. Filling gas inlet. Receptacle of the electronic scale. Refrigerating switch. Temperature controller. Filling switch. Power source indication lamp. Operating indication lamp. Gas source pressure meter. Cylinder bracket. High pressure cup room pipe. Temperature sensor. Fan, safety valve, gas inlet, high pressure pump, high pressure pipeline, cylinder bracket, charge fixture. Refrigerating compressor, box cover, charge fixture, control valve, air pressure pipeline, electronic scale.
Go down after the other end of the high pressure pipe, which have no fixture at wind tight pad set on the gas inlet. Put the carbon dioxide source cylinder inside the container. Screw down after the charge fixture, adding one wind tight pad set on the source cylinder. Open the source cylinder switch. Set the charge fixture on the extinguisher needs to add one wind tight pad, then screw down. Plug into insurance pin of the safety valve and extinguisher respectively. Place the extinguisher on the electronic scale which has set the fixture. Electronic scale plug into the receptacle of the electronic scale. Set the temperature controller to the refrigerating temperature. Press the full button of the temperature controller three times. Start the compressor begin to refrigerate. Refrigerating automatically stop when the temperature controller indicator showing achieve the set refrigerating temperature. Open filling switch begin to fill. When the electronic scale indicator showing the extinguisher arrival to be filled wait, then close the charge switch. Take out the safety valve and the insurance pin of the extinguisher respectively. Discharge the field extinguisher. Plug into the insurance pin of the extinguisher. Keep on field.